What's going on, explorers? Brandon Abandon, your man, 6'4", exploring with Herbeck Stickler. I got a really cool spot for you guys today. I'm at, out at a farmhouse. It's dubbed the Shoemaker's Farmhouse because there's some details around that has shoes built right into the house. It's very, very cool. It's a quite the big farmhouse. It was turned into a whole bunch of individual little apartments. But the detail that's here, it's just absolutely beautiful. It's an amazing sunny day. So let's just jump right in here. It's a little bit of a maze, so I'll try to do it as beautifully as I can. But let's get exploring. Alright everybody, so we're starting off in this little tiny entrance way. Came in this nice beautiful door here. Nice, nice detail all the way around. All those little pieces. It's beautiful and green. Everything's matching. Now I didn't realize, but there is power still on here. Nice walkway. This house is huge. <laughs> the way that there was a curtain, you'd have thought there was something there. Window into the next room. Let's get a little bit of light on. Beautiful, even a nice kind of newer light. Nothing going on. Fridge is unplugged. I don't think there's going to be anything going on in the cupboards neither, no. This house is very well coordinated. These drapes are matching the carpet in here. This room's all green. There you go. And a mirror hanging out. It's a beautiful day out. It's plus 20, but in here, it is cold. This house has stayed freezing. Nice detail, nice lights. Is there anything going on in here? Probably not. Oh. Nope. <laughs> Quite small, I had to back out of there. There's no way I could turn around. Oh, that's some paint peeling down there. Nice drapes again. It's a little closet. It actually smells nice in this in this room. There was a door there. They blocked off, closed, closed off. Here's the other side of it right there. A nice blue room. Only these curtains are they're green, they don't match, but the light matches. No, probably won't need the light in here. All right, we'll still have a little bit on. That's cool. This is a beautiful room. The wood going on the ceilings, chandeliers. Nice fan. Very cool. We got some, some newspaper hanging around. 
This place obviously hasn't been abandoned for too long. I'll see what I can figure it out, or figure out, and I'll put it in the details. I'll even take a look at the paper. A beautiful stone. <laughs> My head hit the chandelier. A little tiny makeshift closet. Oh. Coat hangers. You wouldn't think you'd see those in an abandoned house. Beautiful wood all the way around the window. Beautiful. Couple birds on the cutting board. Nothing's plugged in, so that's a bonus. It's a very cool. Very cool. Whenever I see like the basement with a light like that, it always makes me think there's a light turned on. But there's not. Yeah, got another entrance way. We're not going to go up there just yet. That door leads right to outside. We know that just from looking. Little shelf. That's an interesting door stop. If that's what it is. Starting to get a little bad too. Back out to this beautiful room. It sucks. Somebody smashed the window. Smashed the whole door. But every door is open and unlocked, so they obviously threw this rock through that door and then left through a window. Or sorry, left through another door that they opened. Oh, nice. Another really nice bathroom. Nothing. They've got lots of areas that are like this, where the wall's actually duct taped. You might have noticed that in the other room too. Well, that's not very nice. Beautiful lights, nice wood. It smells nice, still smells nice in here. So I'm guessing that's gonna be it for this main floor. Let's make our way upstairs. See how the upstairs is laid out here. Starting to get cobwebby in between everything. So maybe the floor is quite rough. Maybe this place has been abandoned longer than we think. Longer than I think. That's beautiful. This is still a really nice house. Really high ceilings up here as well. Too bad there's such a mess on the floor in this room. Everywhere.
everywhere else has been so nice. Kitchen area. We're gonna go through there. This door is not gonna do it though, because there's this wire in front. There's still power, so I'm not gonna mess around with that. It almost smells smoky up here. Got a bar of soap. And a Nintendo sticker. Is there any wire? No. I guess this damage was from people taking stuff. Must have been. That's a very tall cabinet. That's awesome. Beautiful mirror. It seems like a bunch of the sinks are missing. Fridge check. Whew, nothing but a little bit of a bad stink. IBEW 353, human rights. <coughs> Whew, and quite a smell from that fridge, as a matter of fact. I like how these mirrors are here. Same mirrors, same flowers, just a little bit of a different level. Classy. Yeah, obviously I had a bunch of stuff, a bunch of posters on the wall. And now there's, there's two houses beside this house but they are they've been completely gutted completely gutted out there's the hole somebody broke so we've made it it looks like they're starting to gut this one too hmm I just maybe took what was really nice like the tile floor that was here I almost thought that we had another upstairs, but no, just a little closet. A little green closet. Nice porch outside. I'm not going to go too far in there because of the floor. We just got a shower. There's a door behind there, so we'll see if we can't make it going the other way. This is crazy. You know, if somebody would have wanted to come back and take all these, I'm not going to go flipping through all of them. I don't want to ruin them with fingerprints or anything. They could be retrieved. Let's hope they are. Isn't a nice light here? A whole different shades of blue and green. All the different wood. Would have taken a lot of time to piece this house together. The groovy man. So this was the other side of the shower bathroom. It's your own separate way in. A little closet. That was pretty cool. There was a little hiding space it looked like. Oh, floor didn't sound good there. That's pretty cool. A little hideaway spot. 
somebody knew and either came back and took what they hid or somebody found it and took what was hidden. Some tinted windows. We don't need the light on for here. A beautiful little room. Very nice. But all the ceilings were all the same with the wood. Gives it a Dutch feeling. Maybe he was a Dutch shoemaker. That sucks, someone even broke a window up here. What would be the point of that? I guess and that's gonna be it for this upstairs. I think this might be the only upstairs. So we will make our way down to the basement. Looks like some of you guys didn't wait. Looks like you guys are already down in the basement. And hey, again, doesn't this have like a Dutch kind of feel to it? The orange, the Netherlands. Yikes. Oh, they were little people though to get under there. All right. Let's see what's going on down here. They needed a lot of laundry. A lot of laundry machines. Because again, there's a few different apartments we could say here. Welch's juice bottles, Tropicana. It's a very cool old stove. Very cool. Condor Jr. Yeah, look at everything hanging down here. Sorry if the camera's off a wee bit. I'm trying to not get covered and stuff that's hanging. We got a stool and a little freezer. Oh. And like, see how that has like another room over there? This is cool. Using all the paper. What's going on in here? Oh, no. I thought it was dug out. It's not. So I'm guessing that other area is not going to be neither. So if I'm rushing a bit, there's just so much crap hanging from the ceilings. It smells nasty down here. It's freezing. Like, that's weird. It's dug out over there, but not here. You'd have to climb over. There's something hidden over there. It's very strange. Huh. All right. Well, that's it for this basement. Let's get out of here. There's the front of this beautiful house. It's got a big old property. There's a house here, but it's completely gutted out. So we're not even going to bother looking at that one. This place is like a maze. So many different ways to get through. Beautiful bench. Handmade. I'm not sure what those pieces are, but if you guys know, please let me know. Just the brick on the outside. And again, there's always, always Christmas lights hanging around. Those are nice. We're going to see... We 
there's that smash door and so yeah from our walk around we definitely we definitely seen it all oh this is cool nice old fridge some boots a little bit of garbage chainsaw blades This is a little workshop. Grinder. An animal cage. Animal trap, I guess I should say. Just a bunch of chopped wood over there. And that's gonna be the end of this one. Go check the other one out. We made it to this shady looking little area. It almost looked like somebody could have been living in here too. Wonder if this was almost another little makeshift apartment. I don't see why not. looking floor the door doesn't want to wedge open a whole bunch of old old uh, orange fishing rod golf clubs There's another room with some tables huh why this house has so many outbuildings to go along with all right as soon as i took a step i was gonna walk all the way through but this wall is moving as i'm stepping so smart thing to do is to get out of there very cool very cool just wanted to show you guys i found these couple remember how in the in his wall he had these plastered in they've actually got hinges metal bottoms so they were from prosthetics they were prosthetic feet that this guy turned into his walls is that not cool all right, everybody, what do you guys think about this house, eh? Absolutely beautiful. Finishing it off in my favorite room, like I always do. There was too much light from those windows, so I couldn't film it so we could see the good stuff. But I hope you guys enjoyed this spot. I loved it. I love taking you guys with me on all these trips. Like it, subscribe it, share it. Thank you for the comments, all your love, for all your views, for all your support. Brandon Abandon, I'll catch you on the next Explore. Ciao.